Hello, wonderful people of God. So we come your way this month with exciting news from the camp of our man of God, Dr. Abel Damina, as he shares insights with us on the knowledge of the scriptures concerning the character of God in salvation. So we want you to stay glued to your screen as we broadcast this every day and do the work of an evangelist for us by sharing this message always. Also, like this message and then comment whatever you learn in the comment section. Thank you. And if you're new here, please don't leave without hitting on that subscribe button and that notification bell. Thank you. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 19. Second mm -mm -mm -mm. Corinthians 5 19. To wit, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. So we've been looking for the wrath of God. Have we found it? Talk to me, church. Have we found wrath of God anywhere? Okay, so to wit, that God was where? Who was reconciling the world? God or us? Who reconciled the world? Did we reconcile with God or God reconciled us? exactly so god reconciled us to himself that means god is not holding the sinner accountable for sin god does not have a record of people's sins because jesus paid for the sins of the whole world god does not write sins in people's account does he mean that people don't sin people sin but god doesn't write it to anybody's account so what are you supposed to believe for your sins to be forgiven? You are supposed to believe that God does not charge sin to your account. Believing that is believing in the gospel of the forgiveness of sins. When you believe that, you have believed in God. Again, I'd like you to turn to your neighbor and say, Hey neighbor, have faith in Jesus. Say it one more time. Can you say it one more time? Hey, neighbor, have faith in Jesus. You know, I know we have believed in Jesus, but sometimes you have to remember that Elijah and Moses are not the people you believe in. Your faith is in Jesus. You must remember that all the time. Jesus is the expression of God in humanity. Jesus is the revelation of God to man. Jesus is the express image of God. Don't ever forget that. So how to believe in God is to know that your sins will not be charged to your account. That is how to believe in God. Question. Is that not how you believe the gospel? You believe that your sins are forgiven, right? Uh huh. Now, what is the gospel? Genesis 15, verse 6. Let's see Abraham. Genesis chapter 15, verse number 6. And he believed in the Lord and he counted it to him for righteousness. What did he believe? Abraham believed that blessed is the man to whom God will not impute sin. Abraham believed that. God does not impute sin. His faith in God's character of no imputation of sin made him righteous. What do we believe today? We believe that God was in Christ not holding anybody accountable for sin. That is the good news. <laughs> that is the good news. Blessed is the man to whom God will not impute sin. Blessed is the man whose iniquities are forgiven. Blessed is the man whose sins are covered. That is the blessedness of Abraham. So when we are singing, Abraham's blessings are mine. Don't think of car and house. Think of the forgiveness of sins. That's the blessing of Abraham. Some said, Dr. Damina, are you saying blessings are no car? In your world, it is car. But when the Bible was written, they didn't know that cars are blessings. 
All they knew to be blessings when the Bible was written was the forgiveness of sins. So today, if you're speaking Bible and you say blessing, get your mind out of the natural to the spiritual. That's why when Paul will reiterate it, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who hath blessed us with all what? So blessings are spiritual, they are not material. Bible blessings are spiritual, they are not material. Bible blessings are spiritual. They are not material. Spiritual blessings. And you don't convert them. No, they are spiritual realities. And what are those blessings? He has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. That's the blessing. He has forgiven us. He has accepted us in the beloved. He has predestinated us. All of those are the blessings. They are spiritual and they are never converted. They remain spiritual for eternity. If I'm teaching good shout, I hear you. How many of you know that there are many churches that hardly preach Jesus? How many of you know? A number of pastors at the best are moral instructors. At the best are moral instructors. Don't do wrong. Do right. If you do wrong, God will be angry. If you do wrong, God will not be happy. The soul that sin it, it shall die. Behave well. If you don't behave well, God is writing it. He will catch you. Your sins will find you out. Those are moral instructors. Worse than the law of Moses. There's no power in that message to free a man that is struggling. The power is in the gospel. And the gospel is the message of his death, burial, and resurrection. That's where the power to be saved is. Not in moral instructions. Not in moral instructions. Is there morality in Christianity? Yes, but it doesn't save. You are saved first. And it's not even morality in that sense. It is conduct, which is what we call spiritual growth or the fruit of the spirit. That's what we call spiritual growth or the fruit of the spirit. It's not even morality in the sense of morality. I've already told you what morality is. The highest form of morality is to believe in Jesus. Faith in the work of Christ is the highest form of morality. I'm teaching good here. So many pastors are just moral instructors. Some of them are, are entrepreneur pastors. Keys to overtaking your overtakers. 45 keys to recovering from the impact of COVID-19. That's not the gospel. The rich young ruler came to Jesus and said, Good master, what shall I do to inherit the kingdom of God? <laughs> Jesus says, you know the Ten Commandments. He said, don't insult me, Jesus. All this I have observed from my youth. Otherwise, how am I a Pharisee? Jesus, loving him, said, first of all, there is none good but God. So on moral grounds, you're already a failure. Because there is none good but God. So morality does not score points with God. I'm teaching good here. I mean, this is Jesus speaking. There is none good. So if we're all looking for who is good among us, we have joined the group of the Pharisees. Because goodness is not based on morality, it's only God that is good. Then he says, go and sell all that you have. Give to the poor, take your cross. Because you lack only one thing. You have all the morality, but you lack the main thing that matters. And he was sad and he walked away. So morality does not score points. Morality scores no points. Amen. Faith in Christ is what matters. Faith in his death faith in his burial faith in his resurrection platform kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new here and also like this message for us do well to comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from thank you message community